Hello, Internet. I got this game for Christmas, and I've been meaning to play it since then, but for reasons I haven't. Anyway, we're starting today. It's Dave the Diver. It's, um, it's a game where you're a scuba diver slash sushi chef, or at least sushi restaurant owner. I've seen a little bit of it, other people streaming it. But for the most part, I don't know what to expect. Alright, crab, off to a good start. I'm sure someone's enjoying this. Oh no! That's... that's not great. That crab's going places it's not supposed to go! Does he really have to have his phone with him while he's trying to relax on the beach? Oh, never mind. Yeah, getting invited for sushi sounds good. But we all know it's a lie. Or at least a half-truth. Stay hydrated. Oh, we're going full-on cinematic. Showing the credits at the beginning. Making sure everyone gets credit. And you know it. Maybe I should skip? Nah. That's my first time watching this cutscene. I shouldn't skip it. That'd be disrespectful to these these people. Disrespectful to Song Min Lee. Or Stephen Moe and his wonderful sound design here. Okay, well I can't understand these uh in-flight announcements, but whatever. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. You're supposed to not quite understand what people are saying. Hello. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Space bar. Hello. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So, where's the sushi at? Ah, ha, ha, don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Hello. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. Blue holes are especially dangerous to dive in. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the great blue hole, giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Which means... This could be an incredible business opportunity. I kind of want Cobra's banana shirt. Yeah. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Hmm, I don't have a good feeling about this. Prologue, a sushi bar by the blue hole. Try moving with the arrow keys. I mean, the waz keys. Alright. Red throated can't read can't read fast. Nice form. Ha 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 ha. Alright, how about stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With shift you can move quickly. Oh, that can make me use my whole hand. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. That's not very nimble. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the r left mouse button. Fish swim away from me though. You know, as they should. Oh. 
gentlemen. Well done, smooth and quick. I didn't. Did I kill a fish? Questions. Oh well. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? <laughs> the harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first, and then... Hmm... Hmm, looks like you need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with the right mouse button and fire with the left. Okay. This seems kind of brutal. I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. No need to decompress or anything. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business to defeat the fish. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, it's just the best. What kind of sushi is oily? Haha, oh. <laughs> well listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef. He left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, as all sushi chefs do. But he has one skill that I guarantee is unmatched in the world. <laughs> it is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one kind of sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole where fish from all over the world can be found. We found it, guys. I forgot what it's called, but that, that ocean that uh, Sanji's looking for, we found it. Don't you think people will go nuts for it? It sounded like he was just like, Dave, Dave, Dave. I think he's a Pokemon or something. Yum, I'm already craving it. Haha, <laughs> I bet. So... Why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? I'm not going to bother with seeing what happens when you decline. Yes, we'll do it. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure! You have to pay, though. Aww. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Ah ha ha! Press spacebar at the arrow to go to sushi. Hey, Boncho! Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You? Ah, uh, you are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Alright, anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. Do you like sushi? I sure do! Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm. Just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Maybe we should get some of that chicken sushi. Then we can get some sky in this too. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish. Just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Uh-oh. That ain't good. I guess that's why the scenery underneath in the blue hole changes every time you go in. Earthquakes. An earthquake? Hmm, the interior is quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we will have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. We'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? 
Mwahaha! <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. And the fume hood not being broken. But what do you need a fume hood for? It's a sushi restaurant. What y'all frying? First, we need ingredients. Did you bring any? Well, I have something I just caught. Hmm. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to open only in the evening. Hmm? Won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? Okay, I'm starting to like Boncho. It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. It seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since... The incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients. So go catch seven fish first. Dive, dive, dive! Awooga! Fang like teeth. Alright, how much oxygen do I have? Alright, this should do. That's my range. This bullet time is helping. Hope people really want to eat yellow tang, though. Maybe we should get some different fish. Clownfish! Everyone loves clownfish, right? We're gonna eat Nemo tonight. Eating Nemo, eating Nemo. Oh, I missed. Hey, Reuben. We're getting very legal sushi prepared. Um, one more fish. Yeah, you thought you could swim away from me. Let's just go down. Because I don't think this game has, um, decompression sickness. Mechanics. Can I catch this jellyfish? That looks like a no. Okay, we found something. Ich spreche kein Deutsch. I put that on my German test. What's kein mean? Ooh, that's a big fish. Do I need a stronger grappling hook for that? <laughs> Means none. Oops. Do we catch a comber? I don't know what that fish is. Made the teacher of mercy on my grade. P. 
pyramid butterfly fish. Well, we're down to a third of our oxygen, so I should probably stop, because that's like, you know, proper dive safety. You don't go past a third of your oxygen. You start heading back when you got when you've used up a third. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. Bwahaha! -ha -ha. My, my, would you look at the time. We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? I found wood. The biggest fish was a 20 centimeter yellow tang. 20 centimeter, that's, that's a pretty big tropical fish. After tests, I am scared to open the correct books. Are correct books like the grade books? So, we got some new fish, but not really ingredients. I guess they're worth that much sushi? So the tang's worth six sushi, the clownfish is worth eight? Huh. Wrap up your day and set things up at Bancho Sushi. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before dinner hour start. Bancho, how are the preparations coming along? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Double thumbs up. I like that energy. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're here to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I, I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be someone to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do was cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked in a restaurant before. The books for the subject you made the test for. I do not want to see my mistakes. I see. I understand. But we do learn from our mistakes. I guess we'll be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Ingredients. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. See, close the window. Can we just escape? Now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes will be added to the menu before they can be sold at customers. The sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Uh, register a dish to the menu. Clownfish. Okay. Alright, that probably wasn't that hard. Study ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Ruben is scared because already. He's already failing for German. Are tests the only things that you get graded on in that class? Is there some other way you could bring up your grade, perhaps? You want to think about these things before the end of the semester, not the end of it. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. There are things you could do. So yeah, there's try to find things you can bring up your grade with, and if you have any opportunities to actually talk to your German teacher, you know, maybe about like extra tutoring or something, that'd be good. I feel like my microphone's about to fall down. Okay, there it goes. It's a little bit better. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Uh... Yellow tang...
pyramid butterfly fish. Blue Tang Sushi. I got a blue tang? I guess I did. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm, have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. It's pouring tea. Come on, man, how can it be? I'll teach you how. Go over to Cobra. Pour the right amount. Perfect. I'm amazing. The extra tutoring is something you can just take standardly, but I'd rather try to go the corrupted way of doing silly side projects and getting extra credit for those. Customers who drink green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. I guess they take their green tea very seriously here. Wahaha, as expected, Boncho's green tea is quite something. Mmm, that tea really got my appetite gozing. going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? <laughs> Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? <clears throat> Come over to where I am and take this food. Thanks. Thanks, Ribbon. Use spacebar to pick up a cleated dish. You can dash while serving. You can't get extra credit, except for the last Dutch test. That's too bad, but I understand why the teacher would do that, because adding more things to grade on top of what they already have to grade is kind of a pain. Hello! You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Boncho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Hold down... Q? I just realized that my uh, phone is not near me and I might need it. Hang on one second. funny that Cobra gets a phone call, and then I'm like, oh right, my phone! What was the... What was the last question on your math test? How do we make math tests fun? Right. Everything looks about ready? Hmm. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kinda nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business again. Customers order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Okay. E will open the sushi restaurant. All right, let's serve fish. He can't translate it, but he can translate without the terms. Perfect. Uh -huh. 
Oh, I should sprint, probably. Uh... That looks like hers. At least it tells me whose is what, more or less. See, that guy's nice. He actually, you know, stood near the sushi chef so he can get his food faster. Close for the day. We made 33 coins. Okay. Hey, Vopker. Um, just playing Dave the Diver. Not being very good at it. Calculate the average from five positive number. The most recurring number is six. The number that is in the middle of the row, if arranged from high to low, is three. Oh, so it was like a puzzle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oof. Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but... Not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, alright. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. No toast minigame? Aw. What? Oh no, littering. Oh no, tentacles. I've seen enough anime to know where this is going. That's not good. We probably needed what was in those boxes. Sunday. October 2nd. Who is Ellie? Should I know Ellie? Hmm. Are you the man who's been diving around here? I dove one time, lady. Yeah, I think so. Tch. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some auger and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one each. Get me two of each. Your tone... Makes me want to refuse. Hmm, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I was just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. I don't know what phone number that is. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Oh, go oh God, content! Check the current missions. And more. I guess we should click our phone. Nothing's highlighted, so let's just assume that means there's something new to do. Dive, dive, dive! Fried egg jellyfish. Ooh, we got two worms. So 
So we need to find red starfish. That's an orange starfish. Content. Wait, what else would there be? I want to catch the little shrimp. Okay, that shrimp's in the background. Was this? Wood. Wood's not terribly exciting. What's in the pot? Soy sauce. Uh, yeah, we'll take soy sauce we found. Underwater. Ooh, he did not like that. Um... Okay, we got a Titan Triggerfish. That's food, right? Oh, hey, Augur. This looks like treasure. It's just more oxygen. Okay, so they're gonna start adding quick time. Lagoon Triggerfish. Riva bought one and a half liters of store cola at the store today. Is this someone's cell phone? Found an escape pod. Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first. The calling process takes some time. We need to catch some more fish. Hey, that one's bleeding. No, but I also need this starfish. Man, we run out of air pretty quick, don't we? Turn to the boat. Is the store cola as good as the regular, like, national brand cola? You only get one f f meat out of the Titan Triggerfish? Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Hmm, hmm. I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Hmm, I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Maybe, like, their entire ecosystem changing every time we dive. It's better because money. That's definitely one way to look at it. Speaking of which, why don't you take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Duff. He looks kind of like one of the characters from, um... Metal Slug, but bigger. Whoa, Cobra, it's been a while. Who is the goofy-looking guy next to you? Tastes more like cherry. Is, is it supposed to taste like cherry? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses. Okay. So, what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. Hello. I've begun a very interesting business. Ha ha ha. Hello. And now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. It's not supposed to taste like cherry, but it does. You could see that as a bonus. 
Maybe. Hmm. Season 2 of Straw Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a lesson. Alright. I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The technology... No, so the terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Duff man, but not like the Simpsons. It might be a Simpsons reference. Yeah. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This would be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm, so we'll need to get the materials from the sea ourselves. They really are justifying this crafting system, aren't they? Heh, <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this Master Duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I'll need one rope and one scrap iron to make a gun out of rope and iron in a cave. You heard him, Dave. A man cave. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back some rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. So I won't die, I'll just lose all my stuff. Rainbow Rass. I thought those lived in sand. Okay, well, we got our grad student's stuff that she wanted. Let's go kill some blue tang. Just so we don't have to adjust the menu too much. Alright. Great reason to make my parents believe I am not that worried about money. By buying cheap soda. Kajime. Purple sea urchin. Ah, this hurts! I don't think Seer is going to be picked up with these gloves. Oh, wow, the rope bounces. I feel bad mashing the space bar. Cardinal fish. Hey, Peanut, been a while. Do you know anything about this game? More rope, more wood. Refill our oxygen. Play it a fair bit. Any idea where I can get some, uh... Some metal? Scrap metal? Yeah. 
need scrap metal to make a gun. So I can shoot fish. We've already gone back to playing Salmon Run, basically. It's a good thing this keyboard's cheap. It's lying on the floor, you just have to comb it. Oh, that fish is mad at me. If you exceed your weight limit, you'll slow down. If you exceed a higher amount, you'll have to carry more. There we go, scrap iron. We should probably call a escape pod. Since we're running out of air. Depressurizing. So they're not totally unaware of depressurization. Ruben has a scare spare keyboard just to punch. You know you can just like draw a keyboard on cardboard and then you can punch it all you want and it's free. Well, to think you'd actually bring it back. I expect you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. No. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make a basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized, only 42 megabytes, you could say. Okay, just click the things, got it. You've collected all the materials. Good. Let's try to create a new weapon. Okay. <laughs> Anime figures. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We got a basic underwater rifle. Oh, Ophelia. Four commander sisters. Charming. Whatever. Let's let's ignore him. Okay. Yes, but this one is also free. I got it when my old school replaced the computers. Wait until I upgrade the food at the sushi place. Oh boy. <sighs> With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Oh okay. uh, well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. Okay. I've taken some measures to allow you to open underwater chests. Sorry, weapon chests underwater. Whoa, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. <laughs> Duff the moderator. Hey man, if we didn't have moderators... I don't think I could stay on the internet much longer. We need people like this. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Okay. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. Yay. New content! That's what we want, content. Phil isn't here, though. Well, that's because this is a small enough community that I can click the ban button by myself. I don't need his help yet. If at some point people start watching this nonsense, maybe then I'll need to find like an actual moderator who's not super busy. Like when I started this, he spent like half the day just like trying to find things to do at work. And then as soon as people actually started watching, then all of a sudden he actually had work to do, so like, it no longer was convenient for him to just like, oh, Juicebox is streaming, I guess I should have that on in the background while I fiddle with these wires to make sure these wires are still where they're supposed to be. Anyway, we can craft duff weapons. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint, making the weapon craftable. Go hunting with powerful weapons. And Ellie. 
Hmm, you actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. Why is everyone so mean? Hey, sometimes I am also a normal person. I wouldn't want you to have to be a mod, Ruben. Being a mod... I mean, again, here is low-key. But if there's more than, like, a couple people in the chat, and you actually have to pay attention to people saying horrible things or implying horrible things, I wouldn't want you to have to, like, make calls, make decisions. I want you to just be able to relax and hang out and talk about your tests. Or whatever you want to talk about. This is a nice skybox. Though that's a little weird seeing lights in front of the moon. I guess those are satellites. Satellite. Alright, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Hey, money and olive oil. Why? Why does a college student have olive oil? She's being fancy. I guess she pours on her ramen to make it look fancier. You know, get that oil sheen on the top of the soup. Whoa, Dave, you collected a hundred gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Aliens who mathematically exist drink olive oil? Well, I guess that would give them a reason to come to our planet, because we got the olives and they might not. Kajiman, I'm not familiar with this seaweed. Cardinal fish. Most of these things don't seem like they would be food. Red lionfish is food. Though, that's definitely food. It's also invasive in the, uh... United States southeastern coast. And so, for a while, they were trying to make it, a, like, a bigger deal on menus in Florida. Because it apparently tastes really good. And... Because it was in, uh, a invasive species, people could just, like, go out and hunt them without licenses. And people really do like shooting things, so... You know, give an American a gun and tell him, go kill this fish, and they're like, yes, sir. Definitely. Gonna go on that right now. Hmm. Anyway, time to uh, serve fish. If you exceed your weight limit, you will slow down. If you exceed higher amounts, you won't be able to carry more. Press escape to organize. Thanks for telling me that again. So I guess we gotta go to the sushi. Ruben got a new bike. Nice. Is it better than your old bike? Alright, menu. Or ingredients. Don't know what to do with that right now. Menu. We need to add this. We can enhance it. Taste can be enhanced. Yeah, why not? Ooh. <laughs> Enhance has been completed. Now sells for more, makes people happier. Okay, add... We can enhance our trigger fish. So it costs more now, but... So let's just only enhance one a night. Except for this one, we got plenty. We can enhance this, definitely. So it'll cost three extra to enhance it, I guess? That's what this means? 
It is a real one. It's a dude's bike. Manage this. Okay. Rainbow Rass. All right, so we got enough servings for everyone. That should be good. So by dude's bike, is that just because of the shape of the frame? Because in America, a woman's bike is like one where the top bar sort of swings really low. Whereas a men's bike, the top bar goes straight from the handlebars to the seat. Is that what I mean by dude bike? Just the shape of it? Also, I gotta focus here. All right, first guy wants tea. I'm amazing. This guy ordered pretty early. means it's stronger. Okay, we have served sushi. We did a better job serving sushi today. Made twice as much profit. You earned Artisan's Flame, five of them, whatever that means. Are you Dave, by any chance? Dr. Bacon. No. Yes, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. Ha <laughs> ha! No, he's, he's happy, Wojak. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? Ha <laughs> ha! I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? How was my day? Uneventful. I haven't read or watched anything worth sharing today. It was cold enough um, yesterday that the water leading to my toilet, the pipe froze. That wasn't fun. But it thawed eventually. And eventually, this week it's supposed to stay above freezing for a while, so I'll be able to finally like go outside again. Yeah. Anyway. Huh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Up, oh, sea people! Sea people! The sea people li civilization lives in legends. They worshiped fish and had gills, allowing them to live underwater. Sea people. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought their abrupt downfall. 
Bravo. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more. Of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You can only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. How was my month? Kind of the same. Part of why I'm streaming today is just like, I've been letting days just go by and not really do anything with them. So I figure I might as well stream. If I can't find anything else to do that makes money. Anyway, that artifact stayed around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out. And he won't be around for a good while. Probably because I'm like, stole him to take his organs to pay for their crypto mining rig. Anyway, that's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. This face. It's great. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please take a look. I can't dive that deep. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Ha ha! Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah ha ha ha. Ribbon likes the non-Splatoon games. Reminds me of the olden times. Yeah. I guess I'm going to try to stream more. And so that means playing more of this game. Yeah. What? We don't have time to swim around searching for artifacts? Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. I think that Cobra's overestimating the uh, tourism value of archaeology. I mean, I live, like, surrounded by archaeological sites. No one's out here. That's why there's still archaeological sites here, because no one's digging them up. Anyway, Bancho's sushi will be bursting at the seams. Um, I suppose you have a point. All right, I'll help. Ha ha, isn't that lucky. Oh, of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Whoa. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. It's really more about the oxygen mix, like the gas mix, that says how deep you can go. And also just understanding your own physiology and whatever. Give me a robo-dive suit, then we won't have to worry about pressure. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. New content! iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment, upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar, and elsewhere to explore deeper waters. Market it as aliens. Oh, the civilizations, the ancient civilizations. Yeah, you could probably get alien nuts to show up. Be like, this was an ancient civilization 1500 years ago. They had advanced technology, which can only be answered by aliens as to why they would have such advanced technology. Which is stupid, but whatever. <laughs> oh god. There's this subreddit that's all about UFOs. And it's pretty sad how they're still clinging to like that one government guy who's being like, No, man, I totally know about the aliens, guys. I'm going to tell Congress about it just like next week. And he's been saying this for like six months now. And they'll post these, you know, attempts to connect whatever is going on with the world with whatever this guy said he was going to disclose about aliens or interdimensional beings or whatever he's calling them now. And the top post will be fairly jargon-heavy. And it sounds like, oh, well, maybe this is something new and interesting. And then you read the comments, and they're all just, like, the same alien nut stuff that we've been hearing for the past 50 years. 60 years. 
Anyway, yeah, alien nuts have money. Their money's green. I like, I like your... If I ever go into an actual business venture, Ruben, I'll probably need your help with, like, marketing. Anyway, let me tell you how to use iDiver. It's an iPhone app. I just tap things and they work. Come on. Unlock your phone. Diver. Upgrade the diving suit for free. Get more air. Or, never mind. This part. Upgrade. You can dive to 80 meters now. Woo. Good. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Like twice as deep, dude. Once you have enough money, use Eye Diver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. Just ask advice and pay me. Yeah. Alright. Diving. Awooga. Let's go shoot some fish. Not sure what all this wood's good for, but if I know crafting games, we're gonna need a lot of it. This game is super in depth. Yeah. I think they're just introducing a lot of systems really early on. It's a gun! Uh, gun enhancement kit. How do I gun, by the way? Tab? I accidentally hit Alt-Tab. Oops! You're gonna want more fish because you need monies for the restaurant, yes. That looks like food. Okay. I want to catch two of you. What's this? Oh, we're way down, okay. Ammo. Refills the ammo of the gun currently in use. Let's see, tranquilizer harpoon tip. Captures creatures of a higher grade. Oh, let's catch the Lionfish. Oh, wait, never mind. They'll attack me. If I'm this slow, they'll probably kill me. Unless. Okay, yeah, they're gonna kill me. And I'm at a third of oxygen, so let's start heading to the top. Death to lionfish. They eat coral reefs, man. We gotta get rid of them. Fine, I'm sure. 
Yeah, there we go. We're out. Death to nothing. So we all know nothingness is everywhere. Dave, while you were out at sea, the repairs were completed. Let's head to the restaurant. Lionfish are really bad for the ecosystem. Yeah, yeah. Apparently so are green crabs, which was a type of crab I wasn't aware existed. But ever since I read about them, I've started getting, like, recipe blogs from, like, Maine. Where they're like, yeah, green crabs, they're invasive, let's eat them. Though apparently on the uh, East Coast, green crabs haven't been that much of a problem. It's just on the West Coast where they're starting to actually damage um, shellfish. Not shell. Specifically bivalves, like oysters and clams and stuff. Harvests because green crabs eat those. Whereas I guess they're outcompeted on the East Coast. Just capture them and set space so they can pay for their crimes. Anyway, restaurant is repaired until the next earthquake. Ha ha, it doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess. Ah, if you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open, so check it. You can change the interior, Bancho Sushi. Use the interior tab to select a style to your liking. Ah, but... As Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, but this area is kind of remote, so I think I will need a way to advertise the store until then. Mm. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. We capture the fish and crabs and ask for ransom money. Crabs aren't known for having a lot of money to pay for for their ransomed relatives. Ah, have you tried the social media app called Cooksta? You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Hmm, even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Boncho? You have a point there. Making an account is simple, so let's try it out. You first register and make the hashtag Boncho Sushi. Sorry, hashtag Boncho Sushi. Then, done! Hmm, well, it's not as complicated as I expected. Now, as customers happy with their food will bon follow Boncho Sushi. Hmm, I'm not sure about this, but okay, I got it. I'll also install the Cooksta app on my phone and check the followers' posts. We're now on Cooksta. Getting those likes. Raise your ratings in Cooksta. More customers will visit and new foods will be unlocked. The unlock conditions for new ratings can be seen in the Cooksta app. Then you should definitely not be an example. Uh, the the crabs. Maybe two of the crabs. I shouldn't be an example to the crabs. Yeah, if I got taken captive, I don't think anyone would pay to get me back. Oh, we can just sell ingredients. Alright, what are we adding today? We can enhance the blue tang sushi. It'll cost four of them. But we'll get three more dollars for each. Screw it, let's do it. Oh. Ooh. Salt Bay! Except actually good food. So putting them out.
we can... Oh, wait, let's enhance our uh, parrot fish sushi. It'll cost half of them. Eh, whatever. Ruben would pay, but it would be so little they would feel sorry for you. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate that people can't pay a higher ransom for me, I guess. Um, I haven't upgraded my pass. We have enhanced five dishes. Culinary master. Uh, let's just throw the combers in there. All right, that should be enough food for everyone. They might spare my liver. You know, your liver can grow back. So as far as, like, organs to, um... Can I go back diving? Haha, -ha, things looking good. If you want to change the style, try changing the interior menu. Anyway, yeah. Your liver is probably one of the better organs to sell for money because it can grow back as long as you cut off only like half of it. But that only applies to fairly healthy livers, which mine is probably not. Ruben could pay, but then I would have no secrets from him anymore. I have all kinds. Hey, it's dolphin. Let's kill it. No, I'm not going to kill the dolphin. Not even if they ask me to. Huh? A dolphin? It seems to be asking me to follow. Should I try and follow? Dolphin's request. Yeah, let's follow the dolphin. That sounds fun. I already caught enough food to feed people tonight. Can you hear that beeping? Oh! A pink dolphin's caught in the net! So it was asking me to rescue its friend. I should cut that net. There we go, we saved him. Sticky keys. Is that what that is? I'll have to look into that setting, because right now I can't sprint underwater. Huh? It seems to have left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins had mates. It's a pearl. And a fragment. And some scrap iron. And a gun. Let's use the gun. Pick up new weapons. We'll have to collect blu blueprints. When you reach a certain number of blueprints, we'll be able to craft a new weapon. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Black and white snapper. Oh, this is terrible. I'm an ecological disaster right now. So they still want me to find a sea people artifact. Let's go dive too deep. The pop-up lets you know how to turn it off. Um.
Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Lead. Okay, we're out. You would require a picture of your ID and your house address if you would pay to release you. Oh. Maybe. Hey, sea fish. I mean, starfish. Also, shark! I'm out of bullets. That's bad. Monk, 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 monk. There we go. We got out. We're alive. We're fine. If you press shift five times in a row, it pops up. Well, we almost got the three shot. Stay down for longer than we ever, ever have before. Nice. Deepest depth. It's already evening. I feel stiff. Even so, Boncho's working alone. I should probably help. It's not easy to manage with two people with more customers coming in. New mission! Get more customer get more co-workers. Um, hi, fussy looking lady. Yoshie. This is Pancho's sushi place, huh? Hmm. M Miss Yoshie. I came by because I heard this place was getting popular on Cooksta. The name gave me pause, but it, to think it's really your place. New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. A taciturn but masculine chef. <laughs> wow, did they mention me too? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshia? <laughs> oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. <laughs> well, there is nothing to change. I simply continue day by day, training myself. <laughs> My goodness, this is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel. Mm. You're talking about that again? Mm. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. Mm. How long will you continue treating customers that way? Mm. To keep making that terrible food. Mm. What do you mean, terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. I don't think... I, I wouldn't want to eat that. Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East, and in Korea, it was even used in an ancestral rituals. Stop, you've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then, whether it's food fit for consumption. Then I can tell you why I came. Fine then, I'll show you. I'll make you know the true taste of shark head meat. Pancho, isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight. I can't back off of... A fight I can't back off of. My pride hangs in the balance. Ruben would eat the shark head. I feel like the shark head would be mostly cartilage. Please get me a white tip reef shark head. And olive oil. You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes, with your skills it should be easy enough to do. But a harpoon's not likely to be enough. Take a good gun with you into battle. Even so, fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. What do you... Do you mean to say you'll just stand by and watch my, while my pride is trampled? The white tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. 
Okay. Good luck. He suddenly wants me to get him a shark head. This is preposterous. And it can only be killed with a gun? I'll have to ask Duff to make me a gun. I want to search for one in the blue hole. Right. Sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear of a sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customers want through research and serve them to the customers. You can now research new recipes. Use the Artisan's Flame to expand your menu. Research. Fish head. I mean shark head. Okay, we'll research how to make it. What? <laughs> His finger was on fire! Okay, uh... Menu. We've probably got enough of everything for everyone. On Ruben's trip back, it rained bad. Yeah, it rained badly. Lady, I can't get you that. I don't. I don't have those. Good. Ah, uh, I didn't do good enough. Okay, so it still works. Alright. Oh, we got- we can see comments now on our cook stuff. We got more people? Nope, that's it. Ruben does not like biking through rain, but he didn't have a choice. I don't think anyone likes biking in the rain, except for maybe crazy people. Didn't do as well tonight, because Miss Food Reviewer was taking up a seat. Let's not blame her. I could have probably sold better food. I don't know, that seems like an okay uh, stopping point. So I think I'm going to stop for today there. And figure out what I can do with sticky keys, because I think I need to fix that. Um, has like 60,000 points. I looked into that Twitch integrated throwing system for something you guys can spend points on, and it kind of wants you to either use um, V Studio for 2D or. Um, What's that stupid program called? VC Face for 3D models. So like, I don't think I'm gonna be integrating the Twitch integrated throwing system to my stream anytime soon. I saw some really stupid thing where like, uh, they summon bugs to just cover the screen. Maybe I'll copy something like that for something to like waste points on. But yeah, I'm gonna go for now with this nice chill music. Yeah, I need to I need to do something about that. That's gonna drive me crazy. Anyway, y'all have a good rest of your day. I'll be back tomorrow with Splatoon. Bye bye.